Greetings YouTube, it is Count Decula from SpartanSubs.com coming at you today with Mike Pearson, Junior Mr. Universe of 2014. Mike uh, is a cyborg sponsored athlete and today he's going to be giving us the lowdown on his contest prep as he gets ready for the 2015 Mr. Universe. Introduce yourself Mike. Hey guys, so um, as Declan just explained, 2014 Junior Mr. Universe. Um, I'm, I'm obviously a cyborg sport sponsored athlete. I've got a great affiliation with the company. I'm a sales rep for the brand also. Um, so that, that, that's uh, just, you know, great for my, uh, my lifestyle that I live, which is obviously a lot of eating, a lot of training. Um, so it gives me the flexibility I need while I can still get a lot of things done. Um, so yeah, that's, what, that's, that's a bit, little bit of that. So you're obviously starting your, your prep this week. How many weeks away are you? And is it only the one show you're going to be doing or are you going to be doing a whole host of shows? So I'm going to do three shows. I'm going to do the NABRA International in Melbourne, which is a show in Australia, where I'll compete in the Open class um, against the men for the first time. I'm still a junior, but I'm going, to, I'm going to test myself against the big boys in Australia and see how I, see how I hold up. Uh, I'll do the NABRA Worlds in Malta. And then the week after that will be the WFF Mr. Universe, where... I'm aiming to become the first junior to win it twice in history, and that federation's been going since the 50s. So I'm going to try as hard as I can to achieve that goal, and that will be that'll be pretty special to me if I can pull it off. Yeah. So what what's happened in the off season? Obviously, obviously you won the competition last year, yep. which is an amazing accomplishment. Um, what have you done in the off season of you know in between those two competitions? It's going to really make you stand out and make you be the first person to go back to back in this competition. So I've had my setbacks, unfortunately. Um, when I got back from overseas last year, I was hyper motivated, um, doing some deadlifts here in the gym, and I blew out two discs in my lower back. So that that pretty much had me bedridden for four months. I wasn't able to train, which I thought at the time um, was going to result in me not being able to compete again this year because I wouldn't have enough muscle. Um, and during that time, I went through a lot of um, mental hardship. It's just, str it's just a struggle. Dark, not dark able, times, mate, man. It's, it's went a, through the dark ages. Mate, it sounds silly, but it is it's dark times. You think, oh, no, and you think you're a bit useless. But eventually, I got over that, and I used that as motivation to, to not have trained for four months and to still have progressed um, and hopefully be better. So um, four months of training. I'm not doing heavy deadlifts anymore. Yep. Still squatting quite heavy. Um, deadlifts, just, I can do them, but with the pain that it leaves me in, it's not worth the trade-off. So I'm doing a lot of, um, my training's changed a lot from heavy things to utilizing supersets and giant sets and really trying to work on contractions and forcing as much blood into the muscles as I can. So because I haven't done much of that type of training before, it's always been relatively heavy, um, I have had some rapid response to it. So last time I started my prep bowls, a sloppy 113 kilos. This year starting out, I'm 118. And Beefcake. In much, in much better condition than I was before too. I'm not fat. I'm still got abs and everything like that. So I feel like I'm, I'm confident with where I'm at. Now it's just a matter of me um, doing some curls to get the girls. That's it. And really knuckling down and uh, busting some ass. That's it. Is yeah. there any uh, points, like when you're on a stage last year, obviously you look great. Is there any like uh, points in your physique that you've really tried to bring up specifically? Uh, specifically my back. Yep. My back. My hamstrings, my quads, everything. But th those are the main ones, but I've just tried to improve overall. I like the shape that I'm working with. It's just uh, adding more muscle overall. Because I am six foot one. Um, tall dude. Tall dude. I'm tall, most bodybuilders like five, five something. So yeah, <laughs> usually not over six foot. So um, I've, got a, I've got a bit more of a frame to feel out, which is fine. I mean, people complain about being vertically challenged or anything like that because they're taller, it's harder to feel out. But yeah. my theory is, uh, a good tall guy always beats a good short guy, so That's just it, add the muscle and just win. That's it. Um, obviously, diet plays a massive role. What are you doing in terms of like your lead up to your comp? Are you solely relying on diet, which has become a, co a popular trend as of late, or are you, you know, incorporating cardio or anything special at all? It's everything, man. Everything. So I, I love, uh, I love doing cardio. Yep. A lot of people hate it. They think extracurricular oh, cardio. Extracurricular cardio. Everyone else is dreading it. I'm getting excited to do it because I'm getting leaner while they're staying fat. So That's it, man. I love doing it. Um, I think that it needs to be done. A lot of people they can get lean, but you're not going to get in that same crisp condition without performing cardio to some degree. And, and as I said, I love getting up early, doing it while the other person's sleeping in. I'm excited knowing I'm working while they're not. Yep. Um, 
diet wise, my diet's similar to last year. Obviously, I've got a bit, I'm doing my own diet. Um, my diet is similar to last year, although I am catering for the extra muscle that I've gained. Yeah. So this year, I'm, for the first six weeks, I'm going to trial out um, having 45 grams of rocket fuel before, 90 grams during training, and then another 45 grams post-workout. So last year, I was only having about 35 grams of carbs during training. Yep. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens while I'm um, having this increased carb intake because uh, if weight doesn't start to come off, I'll obviously decrease, but I'm just going to see what happens and then, um, and, and then make a decision from there. Yeah, sounds good. Um, and obviously, you're quite prominent on social media. Mm. Do you think that, um, obviously, in today's social media, that's helped you in, in terms of like getting yourself out there and making you more motivated to, to train harder and to compete harder? Initially, what I thought was that the added pressure would... Uh, affect me in a negative way. Yep. But we just had the Arnold Classic last weekend. Um, I had people coming up to me in real life. So it's mm. one thing when they say things to you on social media and think, oh yeah, that's really nice. I appreciate that. When they come up to you in real life and tell you you motivate them, they want a physique like yours, you inspire them, it, it blows your mind. And I think I was happier about it than they were getting getting to me because it just... That's it, awesome, man. Man, it definitely filled me with all kinds of motivation. Um, so yeah, I thought it was going to be a, a hindrance at first and make me... I uh, feel a lot of pressure, but now, man, no, now that knowing people actually follow what I do and they yeah. take an interest in it, it's just motivated me to push that much harder. And last year, I didn't think I could push any harder than what I did. I, I tried as hard as I could last year and this year. Last I'll, year, you had three friends on Facebook. Last year, I had, well, that's one thing, yeah. At the start <laughs> of the year, no one gave a shit about me. Yeah. After I won on my shows, everyone's my friend, which is good. I love friends. So, mm. um, yeah, man, I'm going to give an extra 100% this year. No doubt about it. All right. Well, Mark, thanks for taking five with us. And if the viewers at home need to find you anywhere on the internet, where can they find you, man? Um, just Google me. I mean, don't Google me. I'm not on Google. I'm not that cool. Um, <laughs> Facebook Mike Pearson. Facebook Mike Pearson Bodybuilding and Fitness, even though there's not much fitness stuff on there. I just made it to sound more relatable to chicks and stuff too. Chicks. And um, Instagram, Mike Pearson with an underscore at the end. Or just come and train at Spartans Gym Ballarat. I'll be here That's too. it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for that. So stay tuned. We're doing. It's gonna be no like homo. it's gonna be like 15 weeks of uh, Mike's road to the Nabi universe. So yeah. stay tuned. New videos coming each week. I think next week we'll probably go go to the supermarket. We'll cover, we're in yeah, we'll all cover, different locations. We'll, we'll got, cover some shopping. Yeah. Uh, we'll cover some training. Maybe a little bit of posing towards yeah. the end. I don't want to give too much of that away. But there'll definitely be some trolling. Plenty of plenty trolling. of trolling. Yeah. So tune in for that. All right. Uh, thanks for viewing. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and. Check us out. Hey viewers, thanks for watching. Make sure if you like this video, you hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay up to date with everything Spartan Subs related. We're gonna be coming at you with product reviews, product demonstrations, uh, supplement reviews, as well as supplement jewels. So we're gonna be comparing the best products on the market and what's gonna work best for you. Uh, make sure as well, if you need any supplements or apparel, head over to spartansubs.com and we'll hook you up. Make sure you watch the videos in the sidebar here. And from Spartan Subs, I'm Declan, and I'm out.